The best OTAP you will ever have is to make at home, here is how. Bake and Cook Time Hello and welcome to my channel. Please don't hesitate to subscribe and click like and share. Thank you for watching. I already put my 14 ounces of flour, what I have on my mixing bowl, for this recipe. 3 quarters teaspoon of salt. After adding the salt, we have to stir to mix. Then we are going to add 3 quarters cup of water. And also I have to add a half cup of vegetable oil. We have to stir to mix our dough. Then I'm going to use my hand to be easy for kneading. And transfer to the table for more easy kneading. Continue kneading until the dough becomes smooth. Now that our dough is smooth, we are going to make into a ball and rest for 15 minutes. After 15 minutes, we can now start to work on our, on our delicious OTAP. What we are going to begin is to roll our dough to a long log. Then we have to flatten our dough until about 1 8 of an inch thick. Now that dough is flattened, we are going to spread a 1 ounces of shortening all over. After we spread our shortening, we have to sprinkle a 1 ounces of flour. After we spread the shortening and sprinkle the flour all over our dough, we will roll the dough into a log. After we roll our dough, next thing we have to do is to cut our dough to about a half inch long. Now we are going to flatten our sliced dough into about 1 8 of an inch thick. Then we are going to dip it into the sugar. We'll do the same to the rest of our sliced dough. O-Taps is ready to bake. Bake at 300 degrees for about 20 minutes or edges turn light brown. Please subscribe, click like and share. Bake and cook time. Thank you for your support.